All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to repot a fiddle leaf tree. Right here, I have a fiddle leaf tree right here, and it is in this small pot right here. This pot is actually good for draining. However, with this fiddle leaf, I want it to grow larger, and it can grow larger in this pot right here, but the, the size that I want it to grow in is gonna require it to have a larger pot for one, stability, and then two, for the roots to grow and when the roots can grow, have space to grow, the fiddle leaf will grow at an accelerated pace and also it will grow larger. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I have a pot that I'm going to repotting in. It's gonna be into this pot right here and I'm gonna take it out of this pot right there. And so the general rule for when repotting a plant is to fill this pot up with one third of the soil that you're going to use it. So fill this up to like one third of where you want it. All right, so one third full. So I did it one third full, probably a little bit more, but about one third full. And then once you have that, you'll just go ahead and level it off. And what I like to do is, uh, depending on the type of plant, I will add soil moist. This is granules. Now what this does is that it, it absorbs and releases water in the soil. It's ideal for indoor plants, gardens, or even outdoor use. Now this right here, it requires, once you, once you add this and you water your plants, it will make your waterings you will have to do them less frequent because they will stay moist for an extended period of time. So what I'm gonna do is, there's instructions on how much you should add on the back to it, it has a recommended use rate. However, I like to wing it, and I just sprinkle some right here. Probably, that was probably a little bit too much. And then I stir this bit up in here to make it get uh, evenly distributed with the granules. I put a little bit in there and just probably all right some people watching saying like what are you doing well I know what I'm doing so I have that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this plant right here you can see that I have a steak in here and that steak is not to be used with a one sauce it actually is in here to actually assist with the growth of the plant making sure that it grows straight all right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this, and what I'm going to do is I let the soil in this pot get dry, and it's for a reason. So it can come out without getting dirt everywhere. So now I have the, the fiddle leaf right here, and here is the pot. The roots are bundled down in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sit this down here, and I'm going to put this in the location that I want, and then I'm going to just slowly... Get up underneath here, and I'm going to loosen up the roots, and this will allow them to grow in a, in a good way. So start at the bottom, now we're here, and loosen up the roots right here. Loosen up the roots because they're in a ball, okay? Got to loosen up the roots. This is going to allow the plant to flourish to actually grow well. So I'm doing it and it's just like, basically I'm just taking it and just loosening it up the dirt. Now I got the bottom of it, the bottom roots, bottom of the roots, I loosen them up. So now I wanna set it in place and then loosen up the sides, the roots on the sides, I'm gonna loosen them up. And I wanted to make sure it's centered because this is, we're kind of putting it in the place that we're going to have it permanently, right? So I'm going to make sure it's centered and I'm still loosening up the roots. Okay. So I loosen up the roots and now I'm going to add a little bit of the granulars. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of these. A little bit 
I'm gonna mix these up a little bit. So mix those up. And now I'm gonna add the rest of the soil. So a little bit. And now I'm gonna add soil on the top. Now the soil on the top, I don't wanna add any of the granules of the soil moist to this to the top. And the reason is because the top layer is going to act as a barrier from the moist soil in the bottom with this soil moist that I added. So we're gonna add soil to this part. And then what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna take this and I'm not gonna just spread the soil around like that. And keep in mind when you put the soil in right here, it's going to compact when I add uh, water to it. So I'm gonna add water to this. I'm gonna put this a tray underneath here, a drip tray. All right, so I have a drip tray right here and I'll place this on. It's a drip tray and it actually has wheels so you can take it rolling, rolling down the river if you like. So I have this here, fiddle leaf's right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some water and I'm actually gonna put water in here until like water starts dripping out the bottom a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna pour water in here. And the way that I pour water in here, I pour some and then I stop. And the reason why I do this is because when I stop, it allows the water time to be absorbed by the soil and the soil moist granulars that I put inside of the soil. So I'm gonna keep on doing this process over and over slowly like here, because it's, it's, it's a slow adding the water. I'm gonna wait for the water to go down, drip down to the tray, drip down to the tray, and it sits right here. So give it a break for, you know, a couple of seconds to allow the water to be absorbed. So I did that a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Like that. Once that goes, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. let it absorb and then it's going to come and drip down in the bottom of the tray right there and that's how the initial um, um, watering after repot this is what you want to make sure the entire all the soil gets moist watered and ready to go so I have that and just do it one more time right here almost finished the entire can of water right here but not quite and then I'm gonna let that go right there all right, and that is how you repot a fiddle leaf. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.